Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Pigments. This is video 33, and today we're talking about the multi-filter module. It's in the FX tab. Let's click this drop-down menu here. It is on the third row, the fourth module over in the filter slash EQ section. Now, you might have already figured this out, but this is just enhancing more filters. The main difference is that the filters on our synth section one and two have a lot, diff have a lot more modes and a lot of different types of filters than this does over here. Over on the FX section, we have access to a low pass, a high pass, a band pass, a comb feed back, and a comb feed forward. And we have our traditional controls. We have our slope here. We have 12 dB per octave all the way up to 36 dB per octave. We have our traditional cutoff, which is pretty self-explanatory if you watch the filter videos. And then we have our Q, our resonance knob over here. So you might be wondering, okay, well why don't we just use our filter one and two? And this can come in handy because you might have a lot of process, processing going. You might have engine one going to filter one, engine two going to filter two, and then you might be splitting your, your routing for your FX. And then you're like, you know, I still need a filter to, to filter off something or maybe modulate something in an extra filter. And this kind of lets you do that. And it also comes with some cool presets that you can go through here if you would like to. Not to mention, you can always add a filter here and you can say, let me, uh, let me high pass this over here, something pretty steep like that. So let's maybe go slope 36, put the cutoff around here. And then you can go to another fil multi filter here. And then you have this on another 36 low pass. So you can kind of create your own band pass that way and maybe modulate these or do something creative that way. So it's very useful to have more filters within your filter. So if you think about it, we have filters one and two, our main ones, and then we have nine additional slots to put in more filters. So that's pretty crazy. That's nine, 10, 11 filters for one synth that you could use if you wanted to. Pretty crazy. I don't know why, but it's kind of cool to think of the possibilities that you can do with filtering and you can modulate crazy stuff with that as well. So maybe there's a cool patch you can make out there just using a multi-filter on every single module. That would be kind of interesting to do. But yeah, that's this module in a nutshell. It's very useful, and I wouldn't really necessarily look this look over this module because it's pretty cool, even though it is a little more scaled back than filters one and two. So yeah, that's the multi-filter in a nutshell. We shall see you in the next video.